Anubis, or Inpu, or Anpu, in ancient Egyptian, is the Greek name of the god of death, mummification, embalming, the afterlife, cemeteries, tombs, and the underworld. In ancient Egyptian religion, usually depicted as a canine or a man with a canine head. Whether you look back in ancient times or present day, myths are based partly on fact. And what type of fact that may be is still in question but it's the perception of that fact. And people are still seeing these, these creatures today, uh, whether you call them werewolf or something else. They seem to be seen in present day and all over the world. I'm going to share an encounter one man had one night. My sighting took place around 11.30 p.m. on November 4th, 2009. I worked for the local 73 toll road in Newport Beach, California, and lately we've had some construction on the surrounding roads for the past few months. I'm a third shift manager, 2 p.m. to 11 p.m., and every night driving home I take the same exact route at pretty much the same time every night. On this night, I was coming off the exit for the 133 road connector and I'll never forget what I saw. While stopped at the stoplight, I saw a group of three large four-legged creatures dash out from the trees along the road. I started second-guessing myself, and I tried to convince myself I was seeing things. I made the left turn at the light, and while the speed limit was still 40 miles per hour, I looked up and almost peed my pants. Those three beasts were running upright. The wolves, which seems to be the most logical guess, were about six and a half feet tall and looked like they easily weighed 250 to 275 pounds each. They had snouts and mouths that almost could be expressive, being able to smile or frown, and the fur was dark. Although there wasn't enough light to tell if it was dark brown, or black. My car, being a six cylinder, it could get going if need be. I was going 45 miles per hour and the giant wolves were keeping up with ease. I then literally put the pedal to the metal and sped up to 70. I was sweating profusely and I was having a panic attack. As I sped up to 70, the wolf stopped following me. Considering I was about to enter a high traffic part of the road. The wolf in front seemed to stop on a dime and watch me drive off. I did not hear any howls before or after the sighting. I proceeded to head home ASAP. I told my girlfriend what I saw and she deemed my imagination was running wild. I also told my co-workers the next day following the sighting, but nobody believes me to this day. I know I'm not crazy, and I know I know what I saw. I still have been taking that same route home every night, and we have not run into anything since that night of the sighting. Who knows what they actually were, but all I know is I do not want to run into them again. That's the end of the story. And uh, thank you for listening, everybody. Hope you're doing well, and bless up.